Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, I'll be bringing you something brand new to my channel and hopefully introducing you all to a game that you may have not heard of that's currently in development. Project Z, or Z, or you know, however you pronounce it based on wherever you're from. Zombie fans and World War II fanatics, believe me when I say you'll probably want to put this game on your radar. For those that have already seen this game, you might be interested in my thoughts and an in-depth analysis on several features shown so far in the game's dev vlogs. So, before we get started with the video, I do just want to drop a quick line that if you do find this video useful or interesting, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It's fair to say that I'm a big fan of zombie games as well as many survival and FPS games as well. So with that out of the way, let's get into the main course. Now, I want to crack open this video with one of the things that the developers of Project Z seem to want to make very clear and have tried to do so in their vlogs. Project Z is not a survival game. The developers describe it as, and I quote directly from one of their dev vlogs when I say this, an atmospheric first person co-op zombie shooter. The game is set in World War II, which isn't exactly a new setting for a zombie shooter, but definitely one that I'm sure many of us would still enjoy seeing in another game, providing that it's done the right way. Now, with it being a co-op zombie shooter, there are several characters, and 314 Arts, the team behind Project Z, say that each of these characters will have their own story mission and unique abilities per character. What we can expect in the way of abilities, we're not really quite sure yet, but something to look forward to all the same. 314 Arts are aiming to combine both the casual and hardcore markets by blending a bit of both into their gameplay, making reference to both Escape from Tarkov and Left 4 Dead as two examples for inspiration of the game. The team are trying to put a focus on there being a great story for Project Z, both for the individual characters themselves and for the island that they are all collectively stranded on. Now, personally, this grabbed me the most because of all the games we've seen within the zombie genre over the past five years or so, I can't really place a first person zombie game that really focused on telling a story. I'm by no means saying that there weren't any, but I definitely don't think many have pulled it off. Seeing a zombie game that tells a narrative and combines that with smooth co-op gameplay in the first person could be a real breath of fresh air for many. One of the key features that Project Z focuses on is what is called the hub by the development team. From what I can gather from watching their vlogs, uh, this is an off-mission location in which we can recruit AI to do things like repairing damaged areas of said hub, craft materials and better ammo, and lastly, gather your team to start missions together. Once you finish any missions, you'll return to your hub, and the team make reference to blueprints, food, water, fuel, and people as resources that we will need for this hub. So some things that we'll need to keep an eye on throughout our progress in the game. They also mentioned that the more people you have in your hub, the more resources you will need to keep it running. So this seems to be uh, our primary game loop for Project Z. Doing missions to collect supplies for your hub to then expand your hub and unlock more missions along the way. So. We know the game is focused on missions and a story, but the team behind Project Z revealed something extra with their latest dev vlog, which is that they are working on a wave survival mode inspired by the very popular Call of Duty zombie modes. I can definitely see why they chose to put this in, because with so many people having played Call of Duty zombies in the past and it being in World War II, wave defense is almost inherent with the game. So looking forward to that one as well, I have to say. First person animations are already looking clean and crisp with some real weight behind every action that we make as the player. And we're just two vlogs into the development. So that's really impressive. You may have noticed already from some of the footage being shown in the background of this video that there's not exactly a HUD shown, spare for the health bar cropping up occasionally when you take damage. 314 Arts specify that this isn't through laziness or that it hasn't been constructed yet but that they want to provide an atmospheric experience, which means a very minimal HUD. I'm all for that personally, coming from games like Escape from Tarkov, especially when we take into account that this is a game with a story focus to it. Minimal HUD just helps us to get immersed in that experience. 
So this is most of the main mechanics that I wanted to show you guys, uh, but I'm going to list off a few of the very cool little things that are also present in Project Z. In the latest vlog, the team show off a compass, for example, which will show us both cardinal direction and where our current mission objective is, once the mission system is properly implemented, that is. This can be used in one hand with a sidearm and you can still melee, so we've got some options there and it seems like a really cool thing to implement within the game. The zombies in Project Z are placeholders for the time being, but the team have given them a recent update to their looks and to be honest, I think the models themselves look incredible. It's just the animations really that need some work for me personally. The gold system is explosive, but not too over the top for the game genre, and the AI become quick and more dangerous as you damage them, or other zombies nearby them for that matter as well. They even group up together when they are idle, with the horde mechanic being implemented. Not only this, but dismemberment is possible and has its strategic advantages in Project Z. For example, taking out a zombie's legs will take away their mobility, shooting off their arms will prevent their ability to do damage, and you get the idea, but a very neat feature all the same for a game like Project Z. Overall, I definitely think Project Z is a game to keep a close eye on as development progresses and could turn out to be a breath of fresh air for zombie fans everywhere providing it's done the right way. So far the team seem like they're showing us some really promising signs, including some kick-ass level design and quality gunplay. So I've gone ahead and included both their Discord link and a link to their YouTube channel in the description of this video, where you can follow their progress for yourself if you are interested in a game like this. Hopefully you've enjoyed my introduction to Project Z and you'll go away and give it a look for yourselves and maybe ask the devs a few questions, I'm sure they'd be open to that. Uh, I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments about the game or any other similar genre you're looking forward to that you'd like to see me cover. So feel free to suggest some games down below and have a good one guys and I will see you in the next one.